what is sort of the chain of command in terms of who who's taking responsibility? You have an architect that's detailing, maybe you have an envelope consultant that's informing, but do you have a separate energy modeler and, and what does that collaboration look like? Yeah, I, I'll, I'll, I'll respond to that. Um, you know, regardless of your market and your co-compliance pathway, all buildings benefit from a whole building approach to design. The things that impact performance, we, we know, are your enclosure in combination with your mechanical systems. We know, regardless if it's a passive house building or not, we can still take advantage of passive design principles. We can maximize the performance of a building enclosure to reduce the loads in the and demands of in the building uh, and uh, optimize between enclosure and mechanical. We can size mechanical smaller if we have a more efficient enclosure. Um, you know, particularly in places where we're trying to electrify, you really want to reduce loads first before you switch over to minimize the impact on the grid. So a, a lot of a lot of these principles you know, can be applied across jurisdictions and, and, and markets. And, and we benefit from looking at buildings in a whole building performance lens.